This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome back everybody. I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to the international airport at Australia. We are about to leave and go overseas. And I still can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth. Family ready? Are we ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> Our flight's been delayed. No. By an insane amount. How did your first long, long flight go, Baba? Not impressed. All right, see you later, Australia. <laughs> Good morning, Boo Boo. Guess what? We're going to a new country today. What? <laughs> are you excited? Oh, you don't know what's about to hit you. We, uh, we don't know what's about to hit us. <laughs> you know what? If you can be sleepy, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish packing and head to the airport. I am so excited. Hello. Uh, hi. Should we go to the airport? I have like butterflies in my belly. I'm nervous. I feel like it's been so long. And why is it like the first time we do a big long haul flight? It's 24 hours with a toddler. I'm nervous, Steve. It's like excitement and nerves and like... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I need to weigh these bags and hope that they are not too heavy. And then we're heading to the airport. All right, I'll zip this up. <laughs> I like how there's like a cheeky Nemo just there. Priorities of what to pack. <laughs> Overpacked. Of course. <laughs> I don't know, it's over the limit. Oh, what is it? <laughs> a kilo over. Oh, but wait, this one. Hunter, we're definitely not going shopping. We're definitely not going shopping. Alright, here we go. Hold on. <laughs> What's that? It's over a kilo. As well. We oh. packed too much. Who's losing the clothes? <laughs> this is wrong. Who's losing the clothes? Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just losing the clothes. Hunter, paper, scissors, rock. Are we going on a choo choo train? Yes, we are. We're going on a train, and then guess what we're going on after the train? We're going on a plane. Girl, this day hasn't even started yet. <laughs> This is our life now, Steve. Oh my goodness. We've got this. We've got this? Yeah, we've got this. Hunt, have we got this? This feels so surreal. I feel like we are back into the swing of things. We're currently walking, trying to find the train station to get to our airport. We have all our luggage, everything we own on us. It's two years later. It feels so good. It feels amazing. All right, let's go find the train station. Train's here. Hear the commotion. And that's okay. We're in motion. I can feel the sway. I think this is the earliest we've ever arrived at an airport. It is currently three and a half hours till our flight and this has to be the quietest I've ever seen an international terminal. So if you guys missed yesterday's episode, we pretty much run you down everything you'd need to do for an international flight. So travel, as we all expected, has completely changed. Going overseas is a little bit more complicated. There's a few steps. First one, we have to go and get a PCR test and it has to test negative. And we have arrived three and a half hours before we got our COVID negative test done yesterday, which hopefully should speed things up today. I really hope we have everything right. It's like the most nervous I felt jumping on a plane. 110 p.m. for boarding. Okay. Please watch your pin name again. Make sure it's correct for everyone. Yeah. That's all, all correct. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Thank you. Have a good day. So that was super interesting. I timed it. 
15 minutes from the front of the line to go through check-in just to keep in mind. 15 minutes! You have to get it early then if you want to go somewhere. Yeah. Like imagine, so our plane, we asked him, normally there's like over 200 people on a plane. Today it's like 60. But imagine when the planes are full. Yeah. And is that 200? Like it's going to take so long to check in. Yeah. I'm glad we're here early. So we've got two hours now. So we can go eat something, chill out, ready for um, 24 hours of flying ahead. So we aren't sure what will be open once we go through the gates and we all haven't eaten yet. So uh, quickly grabbing some watermelon, grabbing some sandwiches and then we're going to be heading through security. All right, see you later, Australia. I don't see a plane. Oh, are they going to go... <laughs> <laughs> So we made through security. <laughs> we currently have a girl who um her nap time is probably an hour ago. She's a little bit of a cuckoo, but we haven't even told you where we're going yet. So we are heading on United Airlines all the way to San Francisco and then on to Hawaii. What do you think, Hunter? Are we gonna go to Hawaii? Pick and boo! Pick and boo! Is it your nap time? I think the plan is to keep her awake until we jump on this flight. Whoa. <laughs> Two, one. Whoa. Okay. Three. Two. One. Whoa. Oh. Family ready? Are we ready? I'm not ready. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh dear, see. This is why Hunter's ready. Mom is not ready. <laughs> Apparently there's 65 people on this flight for a flight that can hold 260. Yeah, so hopefully we can all have a row to ourselves. Hunter can have a row to herself and she can just, you know, chill out there for 13 hours. What do you think, Hunter? Oh. But can we just appreciate this right now? It's crazy. Absolutely empty terminal. Hunter, where's the plane? Hunter, where's Dada? Huh? <laughs> Hunter, you go hide. Hunter's turn. Go hide, quick. Go hide, Hunter. <laughs> okay. One, two. I don't think he gets the concept. <laughs> Hunter, go hide. Where's Dada? <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to say a huge thanks to our longtime friends and partners of this channel, Squarespace, for their continued support. So, if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all in one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. Jess just recently completely redesigned our blog on Squarespace, so you have to go check it out at flyingthenest.tv. We have all updated blog posts on there. And if you've never put one together, it is so simple to create your own website thanks to their award-winning template designs. Plus, if you get stuck, they have 24-7 customer support. So if you've never used Squarespace before and thinking about putting together your own website, make sure you check out our link in the description below for your free trial plus 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. Uh, doggy on the bus goes oh, woof, 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 woof. Uh, kangaroo on the bus goes bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> Let's do it. First on the plane. Thanks to Hunter. Oh, we're going on the plane. You ready? I'll show it to you. Whoa, is that the big, big, big plane? This is the biggest plane you've been on, maybe. I wonder how wrecked we're going to be at the end of this flight. <laughs> I know, jet lag is going to hit us hard, I think. And we've totally forgotten how to deal with it because <laughs> we haven't dealt with it for a long time. Good luck, ready? Go. Tap, tap, tap. Good, good luck. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good, how are you? So we've just boarded on our flight and for some reason we are in the, what is it, economy? Economy Plus, we didn't even book this. So it must be because it's so quiet, maybe because we had Hunter. Look at this leg room, Steve. I was not expecting this. Tiger. Oh, 
Look at this, Steve. It's like a neck pillow. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, that's nice. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, you can have it. Here you go. Ready? There's an inner duck. <laughs> I'm getting all emotional now. It's like starting to feel real. I can't believe we're actually going overseas. A little teenager. <laughs> So these two were very quick to nod off into the flight as we slowly took off and flew away from our home country of Australia. Luckily I was wide awake to document the flight for you. Our meal was surprisingly tasty and any airline that pops in a cheeky Tim Tam gets a thumbs up in my books. And well let's say the aroma of red sauce pasta woke this one up instantly, smashing down her meal while watching Lilo and Stitch on the TV. But being just an infant, Hunter got bored very quickly. So luckily Jess had stocked up a thousand plus sticker book which got her through to the next nap. Honestly, I think this could be the first time we've ever flown United before and I'm super impressed so far. I think we are two and a half hours into our flight. Hunter nap for two hours which was amazing. Her bedtime is usually about six to seven, so we've got like, I don't know, another hour and a half to two hours. Jess has a whole bag of goodies that she's gonna be bringing out, so she has some sticker books, some toys. She's just gonna slowly just drip feed it to Hunter, bring a new excitement. She had some dinner, had the pasta, absolutely loved it. It's going pretty good so far, which is um, good to say at the beginning. done it. We have 30 minutes left. I think I've slept for like maybe four hours. She's over it. She's done so good though. We still have another whole flight to go, Baba, but we're almost in America. How did your first long, long flight go, Baba? Not impressed. Are you ready for another flight? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down, gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. Ladies and gentlemen, it was that beautiful landing. On behalf of Captain Robin Henley and the entire flight crew, we would like to welcome you to the San Francisco International Airport, serving the greater San Francisco area. Okay, this feels so surreal. We are currently at a busy airport and uh, I think our flight is full. And I just checked our tickets and I don't think we're sitting together. So who's going to get the monkey? Who's going to have to look after the monkey? Hunter, who do you want to sit with? Mama or Dada? Mama or Dada? <laughs> I think we already know. <laughs> that was a no, we already, we already know. Our flight's been delayed. No. By an insane amount. Are you kidding? Till 2 p.m. No, it lands at 2 p.m. No, nah, it lands at 5 30 now. <laughs> oh, I see. It's just a light. What are we doing with that? Till 2. What's the time now? 10 30. 9 40. 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30. No. Oh. Hunter. So I just went to a place called Bacon and Bacon and ordered the breakfast bacon bowl without the bacon. <laughs> I feel like they thought I was crazy. Oh yes, Hunter is going to be very happy now. I'm busy trying to get our entrance for Hawaii because you need to do a separate kind of submission not only to show like your vaccination status, where you're staying, all these things. Well Jess is busy trying to get Hunter to sleep but I think Hunter's putting her to sleep. Ah, you're eating me! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello. Hey, did that pull out? Yes. Alrighty, it's officially been 22 hours since we first saw you guys walking through the streets of Sydney. Oh my goodness. And we still have five more hours to go before we get to Honolulu. But we're all so tired. She's gonna fall asleep, I think, before we even leave, so. <laughs> We've got this. We, it's been good so far. It's, it's been way better than I was expecting. And because the flight was delayed, we get to sit together. Yay! Tell her good time. Can't seem to settle down tonight, but I don't feel like sleeping. <laughs> Come on! Oh my god, those little toes! <laughs> oh, thank you! Yay! It's been the kind of year I could find if I forgot it. I'll never forget it as long as I live in that saying a lot. Wildest menagerie, unfortunate crazy. It's all over. To raise up your glasses to friends. Um, not Australian coffee, but... It's Macca's coffee, you don't do. <laughs> so I just went and got us a small coffee from McDonald's. I forgot just how massive the sizes are <laughs> in America. But let's give you guys our first look at Hawaii. Alrighty, flying the nests. First official tip to getting over jet lag from people that haven't got over the jet lag in two years. Keep yourself busy. And I think I know the perfect spot to keep us busy. Yeah. Come on, let's go to the lift. Let's go to the lift. Come on. Until we're gonna get over this jet lag. <laughs> Are we going to the pool? Pool, pool. How about you? You, you. We're going to the pool. You, you. We're going to the pool. Pool, pool. Are we? Do you intend to come in? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Alrighty, stage one of getting over jet lag is keep busy and try and stay awake until at least 6 pm. I think this is the perfect spot. <laughs> Single worst advice is have a drink, but also you're in Hawaii. It's the best advice. <laughs> official sunset in Hawaii. The plan was to make it till 6. And we've made it till 6 and uh, Hunter has found a duck and she's decided it is her duck. <laughs> is that your duck? <laughs> no. No? Whose no. duck is it? Yeah, it's someone else's duck. You need to go give it back. You want to go give the ducky back? He touched the water. How beautiful is this beach? It is right in front of where we are staying. 
I've actually forgot how beautiful Oahu is. Yeah, it's good. Good little spot for us to get over the jet lag. And we made it. That was the longest travel day ever. Hunter was an absolute trooper. Hunter. No. <laughs> I think it's hitting her now. All right, I think it's time to put her to bed. And we'll see you all in the morning exploring this amazing island. See you guys next time. Bye.